tiny quantum fluctuations produce particles, right at the edge of a black hole's horizon. Small fluctuations arise from the quantum vacuum. This effect can make a black hole slowly lose mass. This phenomenon is called Hawking radiation. Space isn't empty. Quantum fields jitter, virtual pairs pop into existence, particle, antiparticle, normally they annihilate instantly. At the horizon gravity can split the pair, one falls in with negative energy, the other escapes as real light, energy must balance so the black hole loses mass. Over time that's evaporation, hotter if the hole is smaller, colder if it's huge. Stellar mass? 1067 years, ridiculously long, supermassive? 1090 plus years, basically the end game. The smallest black holes? The smallest black holes evaporate rapidly. As of 2025, experiments report suggestive signatures. Lab-made analog black holes and ultra-cold atoms measuring Hawking-like spectra. Quantum simulations sketching the page curve. Sky surveys squeezing where primordial micro holes could hide. Not proof, but the pattern keeps lining up. What would an observer detect? For big holes, almost nothing. A faint cold glow. For tiny ones, a rising sizzle of particles, heating as they shrink, racing toward a final burst that ends it all. Importantly, black holes are not eternal. Over time, they lose energy and fade. From pair production to cosmic timelines, it is gradual energy loss at the horizon, balanced by emitted light. The universe's darkest objects, they leak energy. What do you think of the evidence? Subscribe for more physics updates.